Laboratori Nazionale del Gran Sasso LNGS is the largest underground research center in the world. Situated below Gran Sasso Mountain in Italy, it's well known for particle physics research by the INFN. In addition to a surface portion of the laboratory, there are extensive underground facilities beneath the mountain. The nearest towns are L'Aquila and Teramo. The facility is located about 120 km from Rome. Primary mission of the laboratory is to host experiments that require a low background environment in the field of astroparticle physics and nuclear astrophysics and other disciplines that can profit of its characteristics and of its infrastructures. The LNGS is, like the three other European underground astroparticle laboratories, Laboratoire Souterrain de Modane, Laboratorio Subterraneo de Canfranc, and Bolby Underground Laboratory, a member of the coordinating group ILIAS. Facilities The laboratory consists of a surface facility, located within the Gran Sasso and Monte della Laga National Park, and extensive underground facilities located next to the 10 km long Traforo del Gran Sasso freeway tunnel. The first large experiments at LNGS ran in 1989, the facilities were later expanded, and it is now the largest underground laboratory in the world. There are three main barrel vaulted experimental halls, each approximately 20 meters wide, 18 meters tall, and 100 meters long. These provide roughly 3 times 20 times 100 equals 6,000 square meters, 65,000 square feet of floor space, and 3 times 20 times 8 plus 10 times pi 4 times 100 equals 95,100 cubic meters, 3,360,000 cu feet of volume. Including smaller spaces and various connecting tunnels, the facility totals 17,800 square meters (192,000 square feet) and 180,000 cubic meters (6,400,000 cu feet). The experimental halls are covered by about 1,400 meters of rock, protecting the experiments from cosmic rays. Providing about 3,400 meters of water equivalent MWE shielding, it is not the deepest underground laboratory, but the fact that it can be driven to without using mine elevators makes it very popular. <laughs> Research projects <laughs> Neutrino Research Since late August 2006, CERN has directed a beam of muon neutrinos from the CERN SPS accelerator to the Gran Sasso Lab, 730 km away, where they are detected by the Opera and Icarus detectors, in a study of neutrino oscillations that will improve on the results of the Fermilab to Minnows experiment. In May 2010, Lucia Votino, director of the Gran Sasso Laboratories, announced that he opera experiment has reached its first goal, the detection of a tau neutrino obtained from the transformation of a muon neutrino, which occurred during the journey from Geneva to the Gran Sasso Laboratory. This finding indicates a deficiency in the standard model of particle physics, as neutrinos would have to have mass for this change to occur. An effort to determine the Majorana – Dirac nature of the neutrino, called CUORE Cryogenic Underground Observatory for Rare Events, is scheduled to begin in 2012. The detector will be shielded with lead recovered from an ancient Roman shipwreck, due to the ancient lead's lower radioactivity than recently minted lead. The artifacts are being given to CUORE from the National Archaeological Museum in Colliery. In September 2011, Dario Otiro of the Opera Collaboration presented findings that indicated neutrinos were arriving at Opera about 60 nanoseconds earlier than they would if they were traveling at the speed of light. This faster than light neutrino anomaly was not immediately explained. The results were subsequently investigated and confirmed to be wrong. They were caused by a flawed optic fiber cable in opera receiver of the laboratory, resulting in late arrival of the clock signal to which the neutrino's arrivals were compared. In 2014 Borexino measured directly, for the first time, the neutrinos from the primary proton-proton fusion process in the Sun. This result is published on Nature. This measurement is consistent with the expectations derived from the standard solar model of J. Bacall along with the theory of solar neutrino oscillations as described by MSW theory. It can be regarded as a cornerstone for our understanding of the PP chain that fuels our Sun.
Topic: Experiments. Topic: See also. Astroparticle physics. Phasia. <laughs>